good morning folks welcome back to the channel fear and greed index looking good still sitting on greed this morning when i've got up it's good to see this with all of the current situations unfolding and it just seems like there's not a huge amount of positive news out there and that's simply just because there's not we can't just make things up and you know we stay as real as we can here we're not going to overhype anything or make mountains out of molehills but bitcoin halving is really on the horizon and for those of you that don't know what happens when bitcoin halves let this chart here give you a very small idea of what's at stake here okay bitcoin halving is it's something that ensures the price increases effectively over time that's like a really good way to simplify it i am butchering it but it's a really good way to simplify it so what happens is the the amount of bitcoins available okay in the mining pools are halved so every time a new block is generated there's possible bitcoins in there for the uh, miners to mine they mine those but the rate they're able to mine goes down and that's going to go down by half so what happened last time is you saw a 760.55 percent don't forget the 0.55 percent here folks because with bitcoin you're talking this is like a grand scale and we're looking on a on a broad scale not a macro scale so it's a clean 7x as you can see running up from 10k a coin all the way up nearly to 70k a coin that is a considerable move upwards so we've got bitcoin halving last time happening on the 11th of may uh, 2020 that was the last time the next time it's going to happen is exactly around the same time next year so leading up to this it, it's as you can see, it's just sort of everybody's waiting for this halving. The halving happens and things start to pick up. They get more interesting. And when this halving happens, right, it's it drives so much of the, the whole market. Everybody gets more excited. People get more interested. It gets people talking. So it did last half on the 11th of May, as I was saying to you. And that was a uh, revolt. It, sorry resulting in a block reward of 6.25 btc so that's going to half again so the idea is right every time this has happened we see these considerable runs but each time these considerable runs go up by you know a considerable amount more each time and this time we're really getting down to a very low mining rate and it's going to throw so many different things into question. A lot of people sit and they question, well, once all the Bitcoin's mined, what will continue to drive the price? And that is a huge question. It really is a huge question because no one knows. No one knows who created Bitcoin. No one knows who has the keys to the car, so to speak. We just don't know. But what we do know is these bull runs really do get driven on the back on as we're coming out of the back end of one of these halfings, it just gets intensified. But if we travel back all the way in this time, the, there wasn't this huge community fan base in crypto. The crypto community, it, like it grows over time. And we're very further down the line, as you can see, going up. And we peaked out again up here near 70k. But I was just doing it from there because I didn't want to overstretch it too much. I think it worked out at around 860%. On that second peak so we're all, all the way down here and we're sort of just treading along up down up down up down and it really all does happen from btc halving you can see it in the history of cryptocurrency now a lot of people know about the halving this time and it's like the knowledge expands the community expands there's more people involved but there's going to be less bitcoin there's going to be less out there available the availability goes down the idea is the demand goes up, thus driving the price of the coin up. So as we're pushing through this banking crisis, this whole choke point situation, and it's obvious to see the the mass media are now pretty much getting on Operation Choke Point. You can see, you can see all these different choke points being created, different laws trying to become passed. So it is a fast fact. It really, I, I mean, like you can sort of Google these things and it's always kept prices higher than than before 
this overall period of setting higher highs and higher lows, never really dropping down to those zones before those halving events. So really excited to see what's going to happen around this time next year as we're leading into it. Who knows, right? Because XRP is such a huge part of the crypto community. It's a huge part of the system and it's been so tied up in a court case that if it does eventually get out of this court case, it wins the case. It's It's got the chance to just absolutely explode. And it, 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 it had exploded before its court case. It really was on a home run until this case landed. And this is something that we keep bringing up on this channel. And it's simply what's going to happen with Luna and UST. They're not in a situation how our XRP was where they had the opportunity to fight the case on their terms in their own time doing it step by step instead this is all going to be forced Doquan's likely going to be locked up in a Montenegrin jail for at least a year I've been told different things there's some more news coming out uh, about that and how professionals that have spoken about it believe that his case is going to be treated in Mon Montenegro compared to how other cases they have huge backlogs and a very poor judicial system so this is all interesting stuff to take in but I think it's a really positive thing for us to sit and think if you've been in crypto for say three years you just missed that bull run this is really what you're pushing towards this is like the the creme de la creme of crypto. This is really what drives it. As much as people want to sit there, do technical analysis and say all these different things to these different indicators, it really is Bitcoin that simply just drives it along. What's going to be so interesting is, like I was saying, after all of these coins are mined, right? What happens then? What's the incentive to continue with that kind of chain? Well, it could move to proof of stake, right? But someone would need to take control of a system in effect to develop that in a sense it would centralize the power of bitcoin down to a select group thus defeating the whole idea of decentralization that's currently something that's happening in lunc as much as people don't want to accept it it's becoming very centralized as a power governing authority that does everything over lunc and realistically with the power of control that be it's it's all very sketchy when it when it becomes like that because the likelihood of you being able to change that system, get people removed and get actual people from the community put in that want to make a change, want to see all these different things happen. So it's all going to be very interesting to see how it plays out when BTC does eventually move to proof of stake, proof of work, anything like that. You know what I'm saying. You get the drift. Folks, have a really nice morning. It's Friday. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's go touch some grass this weekend. You know the drill. I'm off for the weekends. Maybe a little video on Saturday. Nothing on Sunday. Last week was, you know, more or less a special thing with the podcast and everything. So there'll be nothing on Sundays. Maybe a little video on Saturday, as I was saying. Other than that, stay safe. Couple more videos coming out later on during the day might go live if I get back from work early enough um, just after lunchtime. Other than that, stay safe. What do I say? Stay safe. Stay aware. Stay humble. Beware of scammers. Beware of doppelgangers. It's so early in the morning and I'm going to work. Shoo!